So it is just after eight. We're going for our first uh, factory tour of Computex. Mm -hmm. This will be your first tour ever. First factory tour, yes, that's correct. Let's do it. Huge thanks to our Computex sponsors for sending us out here. Shout out to NVIDIA, Fantex, NCIX, and MSI. One of the great advantages of doing tours that are not directly in Taipei City is the fact that you get to travel around and uh, see the beautiful nature that is uh, that surrounds you know, these highways and stuff. It's actually pretty beautiful. And we are at Enway. Power supply testing all done here. So this is the EMI chamber. So this big antenna is firing into this table behind here, which can rotate. And then they measure the EMI for cases and servers. Look at this room. So we're inside the semi anechoic chamber and it's semi because we have the room that is normally the way it goes, but the floor isn't uh, treated normally. So we're gonna spend some time in here and uh, eventually we'll be able to hear our own heart beating and like blood flowing, which is very strange. It is very quiet. So Andy tells me here, this, this room is used as a punishment room. <laughs> if somebody's not doing their job right, people come here and they stay here. I wonder what type of, um, so this is right now 27 degrees in here. It'd be really cool to see what, uh, what audio levels we get. Cases, fans and power supplies are tested here for noise. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And look at how thick this door is. So this room is where all the cases are born. Yeah. Case design spot. Yeah, so Look at all these in, things in the middle. <laughs> How many S frame? <laughs> How many? Yeah, this is the S frame, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because of, before we empty, before we empty that, we need to have the we can mount the mount sensor. Then... Whoa! Look at all this aluminum. So we get to see a pre-released version of this case, which is launching tomorrow. So we'll be pub publishing this when the NDA lifts. But look at this. They're pretty cool, very inland like with this uh, this frame, but what's happening with all the fans and the lighting? Look at this, it's so cool. And there's this little box, it's kind of like a hub, right? Oh, I can actually adjust the brightness too, that's cool. So the secret to our productivity today, we don't have many meetings, but we're kind of back and forth, back and forth. We don't have much time in the hotel to keep editing or finish and edit. So what we did is come back to the hotel for an hour, finish with about like 80% of the edit, and now go back to a second meeting so that we can um, be productive. I can hear them. <laughs> hey. hey! Justin, how are you, man? It's been a long time. So, as usual, inside the Fantex suite, there's plenty to film. One, two, three, four, five. Five cases. And especially with the Project 916, which is now the Project Elite. Wait, not the Project, the Enthu Elite. It has been quite a fun shoot. It's almost like a mini review. And it's uh, just giving us getting us exciting about uh, finally building in some, inside something like this and seeing all the progression between what we saw with the 916 and CES versus this almost almost complete project is so fantastic because of Fantex. What's up guys? Okay, so this Whoa. is a chair from Vertigear and it is the most comfortable chair that I have sat in. Yes. Teaser. The camera is fogged up again. Crap. Crap. 
And so as Eber washes his face right behind this computer, uh, this is going to be a conclusion for this episode because I want to show you how we handle video production in a hotel with limited lighting. So first we have this little light on the side. So that's blasting power into that chair. So it's giving me a bit of a highlight on this side. We have the C100 here and we have my big light. So bouncing light off the wall for a pretty decent lighting setup, especially with the C100 that is a total light, low light monster. So guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow is the grand reveal of our third member as he is on his way to Taipei right now.